Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I want to give you guys my flight preview to the Jets versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers game this Sunday, the second to last game of the Jets season. Unfortunately, I cannot believe we're all the way at the end. We can only watch two more games, and then it is indeed the offseason. We got a lot of free agency talk to get into, draft talk, all that great offseason stuff will be coming your way on Jets Media, of course. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I'm so close to hitting 10k subscribers that's gonna be a crazy milestone whenever that happens so make sure you guys smash the subscribe button if you are indeed new to the channel and don't forget to like the video if you guys enjoy so in this video i'm gonna give you guys my thoughts how can the jets pull off the upset we've seen crazier things happen in the nfl this season the jets have two wins against two playoff teams already in the cincinnati Bengals and the tennessee titans well hey what about going up against the greatest quarterback of all time that Jets fans are very familiar with in Tom Brady? Can we bring him down? He's coming to MetLife Stadium, and this one's going to be pretty crazy. Before I hop into the video, we're going to hear a quick word from the sponsor of Jets Media, DraftKings Sportsbook. Before we go any further on today's video, I gotta give a quick shout out to the sponsor of Jets Media, DraftKings. It won't be long until you can place bets right here in New York on your favorite sports on the top rated DraftKings Sportsbook app. You know DraftKings by their daily fantasy contests. Well, now their expertise is gonna be in sports betting so that fans everywhere can get in on the action. DraftKings Sportsbook offers everything you would want in the sports betting app. From player props to same game parlays, they have it all. In just a short time, you'll be able to place bets on your favorite sports from the comfort of your own home with one of America's top-rated sportsbook apps, DraftKings Sportsbook. DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. And best of all, you can withdraw and deposit your cash whenever you want. So check out DraftKings and use my promo code to let them know that I sent you. That's promo code JETSMEDIA. Once again, that's promo code J-E-T-S MEDIA. DraftKings Sportsbook, coming soon to New York State. Thank you, DraftKings Sportsbook, for sponsoring Jets Media. So now let's get right in, guys. So what I want to see in this video is pretty much one thing. Zach Wilson continuing his progression. Because that's all what this season really matters to me personally, just in terms of one individual player. Because he's the most important piece to this team, the quarterback spot. When was the last time the Jets had a franchise quarterback? You guys know the answer to that one. A long, long time. We've been waiting for so long, and Zach Wilson has not shown to be a franchise quarterback yet. I think it's too early to say he is one, or it's too early to say he's not one. We're still trying to figure out what Zach Wilson's been doing. Very good sign about Zach Wilson is he is definitely progressing, and that's all we want to see at the end of the season. Three straight games with no interceptions. Uh, he's finding rhythm within the offense. He's actually using his legs, which is something that he had to do all season long, and I was really frustrated that he wasn't taking advantage of his athleticism, and he's a dual-threat quarterback in college. Why is he not translating to the NFL? Well, here we are today. Mike LaFleur, the offensive coordinator, actually challenged Zach Wilson. He told him, listen, you're really passing up on a lot of opportunities to pick up chunk yardage on the ground. You have the ability. You have the athletic pick up some yards with your legs and now whenever it's man coverage and there's some field wide open Zach Wilson's finally doing that he's coming off rushing for 91 yards and a touchdown last week on the ground and I want to see him do the same I don't expect him to have a 52 yard touchdown run I don't expect him to have 90 yards on the ground but I want to see him at least have five rushing attempts pick up the first down with your legs try not to be do anything crazy we obviously don't want Zach to rely on that because we don't want him getting injured but the good thing about Zach Wilson so far this season in terms of his mobility I don't think he's gotten hit yet i feel like every time he runs he's either going out of bounds or he slides and that's what we want to see from zach make sure that you don't take a lot of hits if you're going to be a dual threat quarterback because that's not what we want but i'm happy that he's taking advantage of that and that also comes with him getting really comfortable in the league today now um he's getting more confidence within himself he's got he's getting a swagger back he feels he's playing more freely and i feel like in the beginning of the season we didn't see zach wilson play freely he played a little you know robotic a little bit he was thinking too much and he didn't have you know the confidence in himself to pick up yards on the on the ground and now we're seeing Zach Wilson do just that and when it comes to throwing the ball He's been down his top three receivers for the past couple of games, so he's not been able to find anybody down the field with consistency. Braxton Berrios is his favorite wide receiver, and Denzel Mims has no 
use to this team. Keelan Cole, not really doing too much. He's dropping passes on third down. Jeff Smith dropping passes. So hopefully we can get Elijah Moore back this week. I don't know if it's going to happen. He's 50-50 for this game, but it'll be a big time plus if he's there. But I just want to see Zach Wilson play, you know, turnover-free football, protect the ball, pick up uh, some yards with the legs, and uh, stay within the pocket, make some plays with your arm. We saw the ability to escape pressure, extend plays, roll to your right, roll to your left. Let's see him step up into the pocket, make those timing throws because he's also been showing signs of that as well, staying in the pocket, converting on third down to Braxton Berrios. He's had a lot of great flashes in the past couple of weeks that should give Jets fans a lot of excitement heading into next season for Zach Wilson's progression. So yeah, he's going up against Todd Bowles' defense, and I don't really know what to expect with Zach Wilson going up against this defense. They're banged up as hell, but I still feel like Zach Wilson has to show signs of progression to give us some optimism heading into the offseason. And when it comes to the Jets defense, I'm sorry guys, I'm an optimistic guy. But I'm expecting Tom Brady to absolutely dissect this defense. We are a defense that's been struggling with injuries and COVID for so long. And I feel like even when we're healthy, we struggle. And now we have to go up against the greatest quarterback of all time in Tom Brady. And I feel like he's just going to have a game plan out there and just pick us apart. I generally believe that. Uh, luckily, we're getting some he guys healthy on the defense. Ashton Davis is back. John Franklin Myers, Foley Fatukasi should be back. Um, and that's going to be a big-time ability. I think the only way we can shut down the Buccaneers' offense is getting interior pass rush getting to Tom Brady because if we let him get comfortable if we give Tom Brady time to throw he is going to throw for 350 yards on us and it's that simple you know even though the Buccaneers are down um, a lot of their top receivers obviously Chris Godwin's out for the year Mike Evans might be out um, and Leonard Fournette is out so all their playmakers their top ones are out but they still have guys like Antonio Brown Ronald Jones is no scrub they still got guys and they're defending Super Bowl champions so they're going to find a way and this game means a lot for them in the NFC playoff race in terms of seeding so I want to see this defense at least compete, try to keep the Jets offense in this game because it would be awesome if we could take this game into the fourth quarter and it could be a, you know, an opportunity for Zach Wilson and Tom Brady to go after each other and try to get, you know, a last minute comeback for the Jets or try to get the dub. Uh, I'd rather that than a blowout, but inevitably guys, a blowout seems very likely in this game. Um, you know, we have to realize who we're going up against, but at the same time, Anything can happen in the NFL. The Jets could upset the, the Buccaneers, for all I know. I have no idea. And I think the key to the Jets' upset, if they're going to make it happen, it has to be the running game. We are coming off the best running game of the entire season out of any team in the NFL with 273 yards on the ground. Between Zach Wilson, Michael Carter rushing for 100-plus yards, and Tevin Coleman, the Jets' offense was dominating on the ground and now we're getting healthy on the offensive line elijah vera tucker and uh, ldt is back our two starting guards which is great sign and i feel like i really want them to take that next step again in the running game can we really pound the rock with michael carter and tevin coleman make the buccaneers defense stay on their heels set up the play action for zach wilson and control the clock um, the, the issue with controlling the clock is the jets defense never gets off the field if you remember on against the jaguars we left the, we, we let the Jaguars just go all over the place and just take over the clock in that first half and then not give the offense any opportunities to really get into any rhythm. So I want to see the Jets' offense establish a run game, pound it with Michael Carter, create some offensive opportunities for him, and uh, make Zach Wilson make some plays. And hopefully go into this fourth quarter where it's a tight game and we can have some fun instead of a blowout. So guys, let me know your thoughts about this game. What do you expect I'm just really excited to see Zach Wilson because I feel like he's taking a big step in his rookie season. Um, I think the number one thing that Jets fans should hold on to is he has, what, he had like six or so interceptions in his first five games. Now he has two interceptions in his last six games. That's a big time sign of him learning to protect the football, how to stay within the offense, and getting comfortable within the Mike LaFleur rent offense. I'm excited. And of course, Robert Sala will be back, which is a good sign as well. So guys, that really does it for this flight preview. Leave a comment down below your thoughts about this game. What are you expecting? And don't forget to like the video if you guys enjoyed. And once again, shout out to DraftKings Sportsbook for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use my link down below in the description. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let's go Jets. Peace.